Hello, today we have this sweet uh, cyber power badge. It is provided in kit form. This is just the PCB and it has uh, several different features. So we're gonna go ahead and look at how you make it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the back of this uh, and we can see there's actually two um, places for battery clips on here. And, um, and then and there are two switches. And you'll see one of them says SAO coin cell and SAO switch, LED coin cell, LED switch. So and these are completely disconnected so from one another. So the SAO coin cell is um, the power that comes from it is switched by the switch and it goes to this SAO port, which allows you to place an SAO on the front of this board and power it up. This coin cell is the LED coin cell and, it, and the power from it is switched by this switch. Um, and when it's switched on, these five um, uh, self-flashing LEDs get power. So you can turn just the LEDs on or just the SAO on, both of them on, both of them off. Um, let's go ahead and get started on here with the um, uh, the switches. I'm get some solder on the corner of each one, and then get the switch kind of set into place. Well, let's look to your finger and then just make sure that it's uh, lined up on all six pads and it can be off a little bit it's it's not that um since the um the pads are actually pretty far apart there's a lot of uh, leeway in how how perfectly it's lined up right. And let's just go around all six pads and get, get a good solder joint between the, the pin of the switch and the pad of the PCB. And there are, like I said, there are six for each switch, so there's 12 total. Sure, we got Got a nice flow on all those. That looks pretty good. Right, so both of our switches are are off and rolling right there. And now uh, next we'll do the um, the uh, coin cell things and let's um you know, dry fit them first, for lack of a better word, because since the switch is in the way on the back side got to make sure we have the part that opens facing away from the switch or we'll get a get a blockage there so that looks good all right Got to um, get, a, get a decent amount of solder on there, and it takes a little bit of time to get the to get both the that big pad on the PCB and also the the little flaps on the um, on the clip hot enough so that the solder gets on them. So definitely um, be a little a little generous with both the solder and the and the dwell time on the on the heating to to make sure you get a nice connection. really good. We'll come over here and make sure we kind of start with just a little solder on the pad just to get it stuck. Even our solder got stuck on there. 
And again, make sure the, the clip is facing in the right direction so that it opens towards the outside of the PCB. Do that just enough to stick on there. That's not so great. There we go. Straighten it up a bit. And then we'll come to the other side and get a good amount of solder, a great amount of heat. <laughs> there we go. And then fix the other side up. So with with a lot of things that we solder, we just start by making a you know a, a tack, like a, a welders call it, just tacking some, something real quick, just tack it down to sort of get it stuck, even though it's not it's not good enough, right? if that makes sense. And then do everything else, and then come back to that first one that was um, that was probably not good enough, right? And just get it get it um, get it fixed up. And then with these, let's make sure our switches are off and just slide these in just to make sure they, they're they facing the right direction and they fit nice and tight, nice and snug. That looks fantastic. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do our five uh, LEDs real quick. Um, with these, you can see each one is marked with which is the short pin and which is the long pin. And they each just have one of them marked. But but for all of them, the, the short pin is the square hole. So if you want to go from the top and just put the... Put the LED in so that the, the short pin goes through the square hole. Now that's probably the only uh, tricky part of this whole build is just making sure we don't get our LEDs in there backwards. So we'll get these first three in. Come on, get in there now. Get those first three in there and flip it over so it can hold itself on the table. And then double check the markings. Um, long pin, yeah, short pin, and short pin. Just to make sure we're facing the right direction because it's just a lot easier to check it twice and then before you go ahead and solder it so that you don't have to mess around with trying to unsolder or anything. First three, and I will just flip it over and make sure they're all fully seated, yeah, more or less. That looks pretty good. And if the wires aren't touching, you should be able to flip this LED switch, and our first three LEDs are lighting up. So those look good. So I'll go ahead and take the turn the excess leads off of those. Pretty good, right? And then we need a. Uh, we have two more LEDs right here. And remember, short pin through the square hole. There we go. And short pin through the square hole. And the very last one. And I'll flip it over down onto the table again. And then again, double check. That's a short pin. There's our short pin. And that's his long pin, and there's a long pin. So, there we go, pretty good. All right, let's see. All right, make sure they're flush, and then. Flip the LED switch again, and we see we've got five crazy blinking LEDs here. So that's all good. And then just one last component on this, on this beauty. Uh, I have a bit of a solder blob there. I'm just going to touch it real quick. Um, the very last component is this SAO header. That's this female SAO header that lets you plug an SAO onto this. You'll notice that there's a key on this thing. That's what this little block, this bump is called. It's, it's called the key. It's a keyed connector, and that's the key. The key needs to face up towards the lanyard hole. So go ahead and put this bad boy in, and uh, bad boy, get in there. All right, there we go. And just make sure that that key is facing up, and then we'll get that.
that down on the table. And then uh, get one of the pins soldered. And then make sure everything's flat and check the key again. All right, everything's great. So we'll go ahead and get all six of these pins soldered. And we're going to solder them really well so that the solder sucks down into the hole, right? So that it's, and that in the end, it will look like a little volcano or a mountain up, up, onto the, up onto the pin that's sticking through. And the reason why we want a really good connection on here with plenty of solder uh, whipped right down into the hole and lots of, lots of solder there is because this is a connector that we're going to be pulling SAOs onto and off of, all right? So that looks pretty good. And now on that note, I have found that with some of these plastic headers, that the holes, the plastic is just a little tiny bit over molded and it's really tight. So um, I like to take some, uh, some header pins. I usually just have some sitting around my desk and I just get in there and kind of gouge it out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that should be perfect now. So let's grab an SAO to, to pop into place. Artemis rocket SAO over here. I'll go ahead and try that. We'll slide that on there. Oh, and it is a little snug, like I said. And then we'll turn the SAO switch on. So that's what it looks like with just the SAO on, just the SAO lit up. And then this is what it looks like with just the LEDs lit up, which of course we've already seen that. But if you go, uh, go all in and light it all up, you get the SAO lit up and you have blinking LEDs around it. And this is uh, the cyber power disc badge. So, you know, for, for uh, just a, a pretty um, easy kit to assemble, with just a couple batteries and a couple switches and then some LEDs and a connector, you get a, a really beautiful effect. There's gold plating on this PCB and it uses all five different um, uh, types of layered modes of the, uh, the PCB so that it um, has a you know, relatively artistic effect and looks fairly high tech. So, so yeah, I hope, um, hope you enjoy that badge, the uh, cyber, cyber Power Disc badge and have a cool place to show off some of your, you know, put your L different uh, SAOs on there. And, you know, and it has, does have a lanyard clip, and the badge actually comes with a lanyard, so you can wear it um, and uh, enjoy it. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I hope you like that. All right, thanks a bunch. And, uh, 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 of course, I need to ask you to remember to uh, follow and like us here on, uh, on all of the social medias, but also um, uh, go over to uh, hackerboxes.com and see some of the other things that we sell, other kits, other learning opportunities, fun things to build, uh, things to share, show off with your friends, and and have a lot of fun and uh, learn, learn something or two while you're at it, we hope. So uh, hope to see you around. All right, thanks a bunch for being with us. Take care.